Welcome to FAST Online Tutorials for Web Requisitioning. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a header record in the FAST Web Requisitioning application. On the Quick Launch menu, you can access your requisitions with a click of a mouse. Open and create a new requisition, edit an in-progress requisition, or open requisitions sent to you for approval. If you use the Quick Launch menu a lot, you can click the small Save icon, and this tab will be the default every time you open Fast WebRec. The icon changes to a small X, and when you no longer want it to be the default, you can just click it again. You can also open requisitions from the menu. The Open option is where you find the in-progress or requisitions waiting for approval. I am going to create a new requisition and will select that option. You need to add the required header information for the new requisition, including your contact information, the ship to location, vendor name, and the date you need the items. For more information specific to creating a new requisition, click the context sensitive help icon. You cannot add anything to the originator field. However, after the header record is saved, your ID is inserted. If the reference field is editable, you can type the reference number or leave it blank and it will be filled in when you click Create Requisition. Please note that the content is set by your institution and also settings at your institution may overwrite this field with a default value. Add your telephone contact information in case purchasing needs to call you. Open the list and select the destination you would like the items shipped to. Type the exact location you want the items delivered to. Select the checkbox to advise purchasing that you are sending a hard copy attachment or quote via internal mail. Please note that these checkboxes may be labeled differently at your institution. Search for a vendor by clicking the icon that looks like a magnifying glass. Use the name or vendor code to search. Select the vendor you want to use from the list. If you don't find a vendor, you can suggest one by typing it in this field. If the vendor is not in your ERP, when you save the header, the vendor name displays in red. You can still submit the requisition for approval, and purchasing will add the vendor or select a different one. If you are adding comments about the requisition, you can enter an unlimited amount of characters. There are different options to add the required date. One is to type the date in the field. You can move your mouse over the field to display the list of shortcut keys. Another option is to click the icon and select a date from the calendar. If your institution uses charts, select one from the list. To save the information you entered, click Create Requisition. A requisition number is assigned, the commodity section opens, and also if you suggested a vendor, it displays in red. At the bottom of the requisition, you can open the attachment section where you can find files on your computer and then attach it to the requisition. You can also open the notes section and add information specific to this requisition. You can also create the header record very quickly, so I'm going to show you that by opening a new one. Most fields in the header record are optional, and you can create the requisition without entering any information. And after the requisition is saved, it is assigned a number, and these fields are filled in for you. Your user ID is inserted into the originator field. The reference field content is set by your institution, as is the required date. The commodity section also opens after you save the header. Please see the next tutorial called Adding Commodity Items.